Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk and do press bell button for notifications. In 2020, I thought it would be a good idea for youngsters to know that uh, while we speak of the World War One and World War II, uh, we must understand the ideology is at play. At that time, the Nazi Germany uh, uh, was under the tag of a fascist uh, of the world. And uh, fascism, we are all very uh, familiar with. You would know of the atrocities that came under fascism. And there was uh, linkages to that to nationalism. So that will be wrong to understand nationalists to be fascism. They are totally two different concepts. Fascist is a state which uh, doesn't take no for an answer. And that in the same uh, understanding, you need to see that communist is also the same kind of state which doesn't take no for an answer. Now, in World War, the communist and the democratic nations fought together against the fascist Nazi Germany. In 2020, are we looking at a communist uh, party of China, the CCP actually being the Nazi Germany of today? While the ideologies of communism and while we have ignored the amount of atrocities that happened in the uh, communist regime, if you look back at the numbers, the numbers of people directly dying from the atrocities of a communist regime are way more than a fascist Germany. But the uh, atrocities of a fascist Germany are so horrific and all children know of that. At, uh, it is on us right now as a democratic uh, world to fight from a rise of the same uh, fascism in present day time. So to give you a little bit of an idea about why I say um, the communist is actually kind of like a fascist is because um, if you look at the Fulong Dong uh, spirituality aspect, it has been totally curbed in China. Now these were spiritual people and uh, there is a rumor uh, and it is reportedly or actually said also that there are concentration camps being set up. Set up and uh, that's where they are at. And uh, same for the Uyghur Muslim, Muslims. I don't know if I got the pronunciation uh, right for that. So uh, when it comes to spirituality, China is not your place to be at. And that is why you will find the strife with Tibet. The Tibetans are very spiritual in their aspect where you don't need to look further than the Dalai Lama. Now when you look at uh, China's fascist regimes, you will understand and communist fascist regime I move on to. I want to say that very again, the BRI as well as the DSR. So the Belt and Road Initiative is an expansionist attitude. The DSR was the digital silk road that they had as um, early as 2015 they decided on this. The whole outlook is expansionist. This is not a collective effort for anybody to uh, do well together. This is about taking over, uh, putting you in a debt trap. This is about subterfuge of your democracies for whether it be on the digital platform or whether it be in your parliament or whether it be at your borders. China is now looking at being the expansionist in our current day world and the, uh, for a humanitarian aspect. I think it will be the democracies of the world coming together to take on an expansionist communist China. And that is why I ask the question again that is China the new Nazi Germany? Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk and do press bell button for notifications.